Hello and welcome to this, another Rugby League Shorts via loverugbyleague.com and Love Rugby League TV. I'm Dave Parkinson, this is episode two, and I thought what I would go on about in this particular episode is festive friendlies. Do we need them anymore? Yes, it was a massive tradition in our sport. You go back long enough in history, the rivalries always came to fore round about the festive period. So you ended up with uh, Wigan and St. Helens on Boxing Day. You end up with Leeds Bradford, uh, probably the two Hull clubs. A lot of festive derbies. This is part of what it was all about. So you play on Boxing Day, you play on New Year's Day. In fact, going back through history in Rugby League, there were times when you play Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, even times when you would play Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Such were... I can't imagine what people would say about it these days if that type of thing was to happen. Um, But where do you stand on it? I'm putting this together in the aftermath of uh, Witness taking on Warrington. And, you know, these were two sides that were nowhere near full strength. You had uh, a good number of youngsters from both teams' academies taking the field, bashing the heck out of one another uh, in the idea of festive, friendly fun. And I just sort of wonder where you stand on it. Even the crowd was down in that particular game, 3,100. And there's a, an idea that I've got where I just don't feel it's relevant anymore. I understand tradition. I understand there's a lot of traditions that have gone the way west since Rugby League switched to summer. But I think that this one should go. I don't think it serves a purpose anymore. You just get people running the risk of injuries. I mean, you had Bryson Goodwin, for example, stepping up to make his debut for Warrington. Goes down after 10, 12 minutes. Nobody sees him again. Ends up going off, doesn't play anymore. And that's a a real risk. I I remember going to uh, a similar game, Warrington Witness, a a couple of years ago. And uh, they gave a player who just arrived from Australia 20 minutes to just have a run around. Took him off. That was it. Um, I understand where they're coming from with regards to perhaps blooding youngsters. But do we really need them anymore? Is it relevant in this modern age of rugby league? What do you think? Have you been to one of the uh, festive friendlies back in 2017 now? What did you think? Standard of the game? Was it good? Indifferent? Could have done without it? I mean, for me, I think that a lot of teams, if they're playing at um, the festive period. They're not really ready. They're undercooked. That's what I've tended to find anyway. There's a lot of mistakes in games. There's not really the combinations. And this all comes down to the way that teams run their pre-seasons. Because generally at this time of the year, talking of just into January, you're only just introducing a ball to training. The rest of the time that you've been, is you've been building up your body, you've been in the gym, you've been doing um, uh, tackling techniques, all these other things as well. Uh, and I just, I don't think that it works anymore. I don't think that it works in modern rugby league, these festive friendlies. For me, I would like to uh, knock them on the head. I don't think there's any other nicer way of putting it. I think that we should get rid, we should move on. From the second week in January, that's probably the best time, bearing in mind when our seasons start now, at the beginning, stroke middle of February. I think that's the best time, probably a month ahead of of, um, those fixtures, to start plotting in friendlies and whatnot. Um, What do you think?